I've just added 30 kilos onto my weight in Zwift, from 70 up to 100. So in simple terms, I've turned myself into a fat shit. I'm now gonna race in a Zwift Category A race, the hardest race there is, and see how long I can stay up with that front pack before getting dropped. And off we went, and I expected a big surge from the get-go. Bearing in mind I'm probably weighing 25 kilos on Zwift more than every other rider, I knew this was gonna be a tough challenge. Straight out the gates, it was pretty much 500 watts just to try and stay with everybody else. Granted, this is flat, so it's not actually gonna make that much of a difference. However, I knew there were some steep inclines on this course that were gonna be very, very challenging, and probably basically mean that I have to push in excess of six, 700 watts just to stay with everybody else, especially when that gradient is getting over four, five percent. Anyway, here we are, 400 watts, trying to be as steady as possible and just stay in the pack. The problem is with a race like this, as soon as you get dropped, you're screwed, you're spat out the back, you can't catch back up. So plan of action for me was to be as conservative as I possibly could while still staying with everybody i didn't want to get to the front and then drop back and then get to the front and drop back which i've done in other races in the past because it just destroys your legs it ruins them and it leaves you with no juice left 350 watts for me is a pretty hard effort still um i am hurting it's a round threshold obviously i'm only a minute in it's not the end of the world but when you're putting four five six seven hundred watt surges in and then having to drop back to threshold and then go back up and back down it does become very spicy very very quickly there was a big big pack in the race today which i think massively played into my favor because it allowed me to sit back and get as much draft as i possibly could especially on the flats and the descents the other thing that i think i massively benefited from from being heavier was when there were little descents as of now for example i feel like i could get away with pushing less power than everybody else because i carried more momentum due to me being heavier look i think the dynamics of this e-racing is very complicated i've still not got my head around it but then gradient comes and out the saddle i come four five six hundred watts there were still a few times where i could drop below 300 watts and be relatively comfortable and i wanted to try and make use of these rests as best as i possibly could because i knew they wouldn't last long this race was just over 22 kilometers so it wasn't that short and sharp and i think that did give me a little bit of respite versus if it was like a six seven kilometer race i don't think there's any chance i'd be able to stay with the pack just because the deficit i would have due to being 25 kilos heavier would be just too high now for those of you who don't understand zwift weight makes a massive massive difference it's pretty much a matter of how much power you can push and how much you weigh and it then spits out a watts per kilo basically means how many watts are you producing in comparison to your weight so the heavier you are it's going to be a major major disadvantage especially online because there's literally no way to cheat the system one thing i did start to notice though is when i started to drop to the back of the pack it was much much harder to catch back up and i felt like i didn't get that momentum back as i usually would because i am a 70 kilo rider i don't weigh 100 kilos kilos so i think a lot of this was just me getting my head around the different pack dynamic but i then ended up doing what i didn't want to do i ended up surging up to the front relatively quickly a few times and then i did power dropped off and then i went off again as i'd literally mentioned two three minutes ago this is not what i wanted to be doing yet somehow i still find myself doing this i think i've got some form of mental problem when it comes to zwift racing i like racing off the front i enjoy it but obviously that is not sustainable even in a normal race when my weight is in correctly but when i'm 100 kilos what the hell do i think i'm doing you've literally got to be probably a world tour rider to be able to have your weight at 100 kilos and win a race like this i don't think anybody else could do it and i think today that became very very obvious if you are you know 90 100 kilos and in excess of that the chance of you being able to race in a category a race i would say is next to none because you're going to need a threshold in excess of 450 500 watts which you're not going to have literally just not going to happen i think Filippo garner the best time trialist and arguably the most powerful rider in the world has got an ftp of a round 460 i believe i can't remember what it was i didn't know the number exactly but so don't sort of quote me on that exactly anyway i still managed to have a little bit more respite here 260 270 even dropped down to 250 at one point which is literally you know 2.5 watts per kilo given my weight in the race which is actually very 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 little power obviously though we're on the flat so it doesn't make as much of a difference and on the downhills as well you know here for example i can coast a little bit again i find myself at the front what am i doing and this is just before the hill where the gradient goes three four five six percent and i find myself having to push 
300 watts, 350, 400 watts. It's now getting up to the 500s and I'm getting out of the saddle. This is where I'm starting to get spat out the back. And those flamey things are shooting out as well, which is very demoralizing when I'm literally pushing five and a half watts per kilo at 100 kilos. And I think it's in like seven or eight watts per kilo at my normal weight. It's just ridiculous. And I'm still getting spat out the back. I think the lesson of today is, firstly how hard it is actually to compete at the top level on Zwift. If you do weigh a lot, it's not particularly going to work very well. And the second thing is race dynamics. They play a massive, massive part. Don't sort of go off too fast and then stop and go up and make it very, very up and down because it's just going to tax your legs. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel because I've got a few more challenges like this coming. So yeah, awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.